Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I'll be reacting to Rain Top Set 9. I didn't I say to make my abilities average in the next life, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh god. <laughs> what the? How much did you spend? <laughs> Seriously? And you don't want that, do you? Mm -mm. She is worse. The dude from Blood As when he was like, oh my god, my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Anything? Are you sure you guys are up for that? I mean, yeah, you got a OP magical, not magical girl, OP girl, <laughs> a fire. <laughs> I can't, I can't. I mean, you know, in a way, each and every one of them have before. They're all OP in their own special ways. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> we'll see. I've been wanting to watch this for like the past two hours, but I couldn't watch it because it was still freaking downloading. So I had to watch something else first, even though I was very excited about what I watched first. But still, I was like, I really miss my girls. And then the other show that I had to watch, I also missed my other girls. And like, today is like the best day ever. Because of two to hurry room. And it was just so good. Uh, and then after this, I gotta watch some Patreon shows. Like, two of them, I believe. And hopefully I have time, maybe, to watch one more. I know. You're looking at all four of them. Are you really sure you up for the chat? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then what's the problem? Huh? Also, basically, you want to be like a Pokemon, just, you know, kill her away in fear. You can die. Or a fucking Persona. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Well, fuck. <laughs> Who 
Well, I mean, okay. So the thing is, you have to defeat it right then and there. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, it'd be so funny if they did this in the book, but I don't know. Like, what it, it, if it did happen in the book? I don't think it would happen in books one through four that I have. Maybe like five to wherever. Seriously? <laughs> Heck, I'm still in chapter two, and I want to read some um some chapters that I'm. <laughs> because Adele, you are an idiot. How the hell is this going to go? <laughs> hmm? Oh my god, come on! Just give him a chance. Oh, bye bye cows. Oh my god! Oh my god! He was just a kick! Oh, good cow! Poor baby! No! Yeah, but what if you guys are not paying attention and the wyvern just goes like swoop and then takes it? It's a log. <laughs> and he doing whatever he gotta do to get his food. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, that was safely all right. <laughs> Pauline, your turn. But maybe it's can you like fly through the skies and attack <laughs> Okay.
Polly, maybe you should back up just in case you don't get hurt. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. But you got hurt too. Okay, Pauline. <laughs> You're too, Pauline. Oh, where the hell did you go? <laughs> Pauline was like, I'm a dip. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, you poor thing. I mean, wouldn't it have just been better to get like a make a catapult or get a catapult and then you could have just launched them from that? No, no, they can't have a baby. Pauline. No, I think Pauline has a plan. I'm just wondering how this is gonna go. Mm hmm. Good luck, Pauline. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, don't worry about the wavering. Damn. Do we really have to have an upskirt fan service moment? Mavis can't do that. Never mind.
Wow. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, I, I mean... <laughs> That just gave me like bye bye butterfree feels, man. Yeah. No. <clears throat> I mean, hold up. You couldn't gave that to the Crimson Bell. I mean, they want money.
<laughs> yep. <laughs> because you want them to live there and then also work for you. That's it, a little unfair, but I mean, it is also smart too. But they need their own place. Adele. <laughs> yeah. No comment on this episode as a whole. I mean, the episode just <laughs> Oh my god, this is just like one minute, like, Raina Laws, are you Lenny, or Adele? <laughs> oh my god, I'm scared. <laughs> what was this awful <laughs> Like, honestly, what was this episode? <laughs> I can't. That was, like, way too much. But it was freaking hilarious. I, I love the fact that Pauline, no matter what, like, Adele was like, oh, come on, we're gonna do this. Pauline was like, mm -hmm. but maybe was just like, let me go. <laughs> and then when it was Pauline, sir, Pauline did. <laughs> <laughs> Pauline was like, I don't want to do it, but in the end, Pauline did it. She was like, it's for the good of the group. <laughs> we gotta get the wild line out of here, but like, to know that someone had a connection with that wild line was very interesting. And the fact that he's a roommate. <laughs> so, okay, hold on. Then they still live there with Lenny. The only thing is, they just built that bad house. That's fine. They got an outdoor bath. They can go use it whenever the heck they want. But still, if it was me, I would have assumed that they would have got, like, a bigger place. Something like, you know, how in Kanesuba or in um, ReZero, like, eventually they get this big behind mansion. And it has, like, so many rooms and probably so many bathrooms and ish like that. And then all four of them just could have lived there. Lenny could have probably lived there, too. But I don't think Lenny would have because, you know. I mean, Raina or maybe Adele. Raina mostly <laughs> No, but the <laughs> like they would have agreed to disagree, but like, yeah, she can stay. Like, it's fine. Okay, so I mean, this episode was really interesting. It was different. It still gives me, like, honestly, even though we're not done with this show yet, I think we got like a couple more weeks left before the show is done. Um, there are moments in this show, and I kind of think I said this when I watched like episode one and two. And even though I'm still only on chapter two of book one and I haven't really been able to read in the past few weeks. And I hope that like while this is editing, I can have a chance to read. Um, there are moments where a lot of people have told me in the past that it, it does go by the book certain moments and stuff. Even with the fact is that um, one part that I read that I think I talked about already, it was the Cinderella moment that did happen in the book. And so we're one minute we're going filler and then um 
filler original story or maybe somewhat towards the book. I mean, as someone who's only read chapter two, I can't really give you much. But I'm kind of hoping with these last few episodes, there's in one of these books, I think it's in book three or in book four, they do meet someone who is a blonde haired girl. Let me look real quick because I don't really remember. Um, if it's not in book three, it's got to be in book four. Uh, I don't even know when it's going to take me to get to book three or four. It is book, well, no, there's the bathhouse right there. So that happens. No, it's book four. Um, they meet a girl and I hope that it happens before this show ends because then that I'll know exactly where they are in kind of original story. She's blind and she has green eyes. So if they do end up meeting her, then we'll know probably maybe the anime might end on book four. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. I ain't gonna know until I read book four. I mean, it's probably gonna take me a while and I am gonna spend like Christmas break and everything to read and I might even read even today. But I just, I'm hoping because I mean, this is episode nine and I think we have like 13 episodes with this show. So officially by next week when 10 comes out, we'll have like three more weeks with this show. And I think the way that they're going, they could possibly do it, but then at the same time, it, at, they couldn't. I really don't know. But, like, if someone is, I think, yeah, maybe once episode 10 comes out and we figure out whatever episode 10 is probably going to be about, and if episode 10 is exclusive to the book, and if somebody knows where exactly, because I know there's some, uh, there are some other people who are currently reading this series as much as I am, one person commented to me about, like, I'm going to say maybe, a, like, an hour ago or, like, 20 minutes ago, um, that they're on book five and that they're hoping that they meet a certain character. And I don't know if it is that girl who I was talking about, but we ain't going to know. But I don't know. I mean, the episode was good. I enjoyed it a lot. I still love these girls so freaking much. Adele doing her ish. And, I mean, can we just talk about the maid thing at the beginning and how they did that? <laughs> I can't, because Raina, it gave me, like, so many feels towards blood us. And I'm just like, yeah, we just need Micah to just come out and do her BDSM, which would have been so freaking hilarious. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 9 of Did Nice Day to Make My Abilities Average in the Next Life. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchroom Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys, especially y'all, next Monday for episode 10. Bye, guys. Thank you.